Okay, so another problem I've noticed is some people are struggling with how to apply textures. If you haven't UVW unwrapped something, how do you apply a texture to it nicely, okay? Also, some of you, when you're using the line tool or when you're modeling, you get an error message pop up when the render comes up that says line 01 UVW 01 or something like that, basically meaning it doesn't know how to texture the object you've made, so it doesn't know how to apply a texture. This scenario is going to fix both of those, okay? So what I'm going to do just very quickly is I'm going to make myself um, some kind of wall. We're going to texture it. And then we're going to look at ways of optimizing that texture without UVW unwrapping. So I know a lot of you haven't been unwrapping yet. Well, some of you have. So what I'm going to do, I've just got a simple shape. I'm going to add an extrude. I'm going to add an extrude to it. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. So we've got a bit of width there. And then what we're going to do is apply our texture. Texture is visible in viewport. Remember how to apply texture. Click on a blank te a texture. Click on the none box. Bitmap. Choose it. Interestingly, if these are all the textures you're seeing, right click on any texture, 6x4 samples. That seems to be something that's cropping up a bit as well. So I've applied this texture. At the moment there is no mapping information. So you can see it's stretched that one square texture. If we look at, whoops, if we look at this texture view image this is the texture that it's stretching over this shape though it's not a square shape so how is it applying it to it so what you can see is the mapping is somewhat stretched and warped on the top and sides of the object so at the moment the front of the object looks all right but the sides of the object look like you can't see what's going on okay see like that so what we're going to do is we're going to add a uvw map to it if you scroll down, UVW map, and choose box, under box, you can see we're changing some of these sides. Where you've got planar, cylindrical, if it was a cylinder, spherical, if it was a spherical shape. But you can try and pick, you've got shrink wrap, but you can see because they're different shapes. Box seems to be the one that fits the best. Now, if that box doesn't fit your object properly, scroll down. You got this box here fit, okay? Doesn't seem to work for me. The old one did work. Seems to have stretched that texture a little bit too much. I'm just gonna undo that. And this box shape here seems to work the best. Now, whether your alignment is X, Y, or Z, you can change the alignment around until you get something you're happy with. But now I'm a little bit happier that the sides work with the front. Also, you can tile the front side and back textures once or twice to make the texture repeat over and over again, okay? Hopefully that's helped, and when you render it, it will show what's happening there. Okay, thanks very much.